All right, welcome back to 1011 this morning. Joining us now is Matt Machera from Capital Humane Society. How are you doing? Pretty good. How about you guys? I'm well, thank you. Other than the heat, yes. and the yes. humidity, the humidity and yes. just feeling like a sauna outside. It but, really is. Uh, yeah, so today we have Bongo, and so Best Bongo's... Best name. Yep. Bongo. <laughs> he's about 11 <laughs> weeks old, and he's a domestic short hair neutered male. And uh, he and his litter mates, they came to the shelter towards the end of May, and so obviously they were very small when they came in they were just under a pound and so not big enough for adoption and so they spent the last uh, approximately two months in a foster home and so those foster parents did a very good job of taking care of them and socializing them and so everybody's been adopted so far besides bongo which is kind of hard to believe because he is very very sweet very and sweet. uh maybe you can hear it in the microphone but he uh he's got a v8 engine for a motor and he's just purring away but a uh, super friendly kitten <laughs> yeah. and he's been neutered, he's been microchipped, he's got the initial vaccinations done, but he's going to need his booster vaccines and his rabies vaccination when he gets a little bit older and uh, so looking for that new home and hopefully he'll find it tomorrow. Mm -hmm. He's thinking about trying to get away. He's, yeah, trying I mean, he's a little <laughs> adventurous, but uh, he definitely likes the attention to, you know, the whole yep. car right over. He's just meowing and then mm -hmm. you just kind of stick your finger in the cage and he just rubs his face all over it. And <laughs> so plenty of uh, affection from Bongo, but also yeah. he's going to be very adventurous as well. <laughs> you can go up there and <laughs> climb me again. So what else is going on? Uh, so w remind folks that we still have uh, Mary Jo Livingston is still sponsoring adoption fees on cats five months and older. And so we have a lot of kittens in the shelter right now, but we also have a lot of adult cats as well. And so. I've had pretty good adoption numbers over the last couple weekends, but we're still seeing a lot of cats and mm -hmm. kittens coming in. And so um, if you're thinking about adopting, maybe you don't uh, want to adopt a kitten. You don't want to deal with all the kitten uh, tendencies and all <laughs> of that. But, uh, you know, there's plenty of adult cats that are looking for homes right now as well. And so Mary Jo has been sponsoring those adoption fees yeah. or half of those adoption fees uh, on those adult cats since the beginning of June and uh, going to for the foreseeable future here. But okay. uh, don't wait too long, you know. Uh, you know, we'll see how much longer it'll go. But uh, if you're thinking about adopting, uh, definitely consider some of the adult cats at the shelter right now. There's plenty of them. Uh, they're just as sweet and as friendly as Bongo and all the other <laughs> kittens. And so, uh, definitely, if you want to take advantage of that, uh, do so soon. There, you can hear it there. Yeah. Uh, definitely good with Motor. definitely good with yeah. people. Bongo over here. Uh, would Bongo be good around other cats? Uh, uh, yeah, I mean at this age, uh, Bongo will sell <laughs> right in. Now other cat, you know, if you bring them home and there's an adult cat already Established in the home, cats. Uh, yeah. you know, gonna gotcha. need to make sure you slow introductions and make sure uh, everybody is comfortable with it. But uh, yeah, I don't see any issues with uh, mm -hmm. Bongo. It's more of uh, you know other ad adult cats uh, being accepting of him. So. <laughs> What oh are you doing? Boy. What are you doing? Yeah, see, there you go. You just, he'll curl up right there for just, you just on his back. Up, and you? now the mm -hmm. mic is a, and your yeah, tie is a play toy. With my tie. <laughs> my tie is playful. <laughs> yeah. oh so, my all gosh. right. Uh, anything else coming up? Uh, just remind folks of our Positive Impact Project program. Again, that is a program we started a little over two years ago, and it's a program to help income qualified pet owners keep their pets. You know, we're talking about how many pets are coming to the shelter, our capacity all of that you know we want to keep pets in their homes with people that already love and care for them and so lots of resources available through that program including our pet food and supply pantry which operates at the Stransky Vet Center every Tuesday afternoon and so if you need help with your pet um, you know definitely check out our website capitalhumanesociety.org see if you qualify see the ways that we can get you some assistance so that we can help you keep your pet all righty thanks nice. for stopping yes. by with uh, bongo this morning matt <laughs> and again you're closed today but yep. you're like, on mondays like you yep wear. closed you on mondays but we'll be open tomorrow pylock pet adoption center so 11 30 to 7 tomorrow so you can come get bongo no get bongo all right great time and we'll be right back with another check of brad's forecast <laughs>